Decentralize and socialize energy systems in order to turn them into renewable systems. You can't take these things apart, right? You can't just have a bit of renewable without decentralizing and socializing energy. It's really hard to decentralize energy if you stick, for example, to a nuclear power system as well. Right? You know, so these things actually belong together. Fourth demand, as I said, recognize and make reparations for the massive ecological debt owed the South by the global north. Right? These are some of the demands that even if they're taken up inside the COP, are quickly marginalized. You know, a demand for reparations quickly becomes a demand to expand the clean development mechanism. You know, that's how things happen inside the COP. We have, right now in Copenhagen, a chance to create a kind of amazing starting point for this global movement around climate for climate justice, just like Seattle 10 years ago allowed different movements struggling against neoliberalism to come together and recognize their common ground, recognize that even if one of them was fighting against privatization of public services in France, you know, and the other one was fighting against enclosure of land in Mexico, and yet again, somebody else was fighting against the, preca the, like, the, precarity, the, the, the imposed precarity of our working lives, that in fact there was a common ground to all these movements. And in a way, what we're trying to do in Copenhagen is that, create a space where different movements struggling you know, for their livelihoods, for their land, for water, for, for, for control over their, the, the seeds that they have, you know, against coal-fired power plants, that all these different movements can have a space where we can come together and recognize, shit, we don't only have, you know, we, we have common enemies, but more important than that, we have a common project, climate justice, exemplified around these kind of core demands that I put forward. So, I'm going to stop here because I've ranted much longer than I wanted to, or should have. <laughs> And I think that the Reclaim Power action on the 16th is a really amazing moment to try and create this space. Because there we have an opportunity to bring together the different constituencies that can form this global movement. Radical direct action movements, critical NGOs, mass movements from the global south, also the youth delegates inside the COP, and also I think some of the governments whose position needs must be radical, like the small island states, some African countries, the ALBA countries, you know. I, I come from the sort of radical direct action left, but I think this is not the time to say, to be purist. This is the time to say, okay, whom can we get together with in this fight for climate justice? And the, the reclaim power action, by trying to get people to enter the conference area from the outside, by trying to get people to walk out from the inside, not just NGO delegates, but also government delegates, is trying to create this People's Climate Justice Assembly, this space where we can physically recognize our common ground and reclaim power in order to start the global fight for climate justice for serious. Thanks. Um, so, I think we'll move on to uh, sort of opening this debate up to the...